In this video, we're going to take a look at rendering quality. To control the rendering quality of our scenes, we have a unified slider that enables us to affect multiple quality settings all at once. In my current scene here, we've added a physical sun and sky node, and I've already rendered this image out, and I'll choose just to bring that render up by opening my render view. And we look, we have a very low quality to our current scene. Now we're not talking about controlling the final gather attributes or increasing any of the accuracy there. We're talking about controlling the actual render settings and how that image will be interpreted. When we look, we get very grainy, very broken lines along the side of the building here. Very poor render quality. We can also look here and see that these lines are very broken. We can barely read our plaque. If I go into my render settings, I want to switch to the quality tab, and here we have our sampling. This allows us to adaptively control the overall quality for the render. We have a sampling mode which is set to unified sampling. Now if I click on this, we do have options to go back to use legacy settings, and I'll choose the legacy sampling mode. This is what we used to see inside of Maya. With these controls here, we had to go in and alter our minimum and maximum sampling levels for our anti-aliasing, as well as our contrast. And we had a couple of other filter options here as well. But now, in Maya 2014, we have our unified sampling, which controls all of that automatically through this quality slider. Now we still have a separate section here for minimum and maximum sampling, but we can leave that as a broader number and just control the quality. Now, if we really want to get in here and fine tune things, we would go in and figure out proper minimum and maximum sampling levels. But just for a general overview for our render, just to keep things simple, we can just use that quality slider. By default, it's set to 0.25. Now that's going to be pretty low. As you can see, this is the result of rendering at 0.25. Now we might not know what those parameters are or know what my target is. And I could spend a lot of time moving that slider back and forth in order to get what I want. But another new option is to use a progressive style rendering option. This is right here under progressive mode. And with it, we can only use it with IPR, and IPR being our interactive photorealistic render, this button right here. I'm going to do this, and we'll set that. We have to have that on IPR. And I'll re-render this scene as we see it right here with that low quality. So let's just hit IPR. And now we want to select a region to fine tune. Now we looked at this area over here. We saw what low quality it was. Let's just grab a section of it. And now that IPR will go through and render. But it's also using that progressive mode. Look what's happening. As it goes through, it renders once, it renders twice, and now it continues to render in order to get a good quality. So now it's stopped, and we can now increase our quality. Let's raise this up. We'll just try 0.5. The IPR will automatically go through and pick up those changes and begin to render. And now it just rendered it three times, well, there's a fourth time, that it rendered out. What that's doing is utilizing the sub-sample size. And you can see when it draws those tiles, they get smaller and smaller. That's the progressive portion of our render here. We can use the sub-sample or the max time to tell the render how long it should work on each frame in order to get a finished result. So if I want it to take in seconds, one second in order to finish this, and you can see it's gonna go through, and it will attempt to render this for 60 seconds. I said one second earlier, I meant one minute. And now it increased the quality as it went through. So it's kind of an iterative process where we can raise these numbers up and when actually for the subsample size, we'll want to come down. 
making that subsample smaller. And this allows us again to go through and stop or kill the render at any point in time if we don't like what we're seeing. We're still not there. I'm going to raise the quality up a little further. And let that go through. And now we're starting to see some action there, starting to clean it up a little bit. And now you can really look at the lines right here. We can actually read that, all of this getting a much better look. And again, this is really for anti-aliasing. We can still look in the background there. The windows on the building, we can't really see. That's going to be a problem with the final gather, but not with our anti-aliasing. The anti-aliasing, getting rid of all those rigid lines or jagged lines, all controlled by our quality here. And we can use that interactive photorealistic render to do a progressive style render.